and say, do you consider yourself a freak? Catch a body, you think it's suicide. Yeah. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Trefo, aka your favorite chocolate king. You heard? No, not right now, not right now. Cause it's quarantine shit going on and I look kinda rough, you know what I'm saying? But um, as y'all see by that title, we're finna be doing a QA. This is long awaited. And I'm like, since I'm at work bored as hell, I ain't got nothing else to do. I can give a video to y'all, you feel me? And on the plus side, I can eat some Portillo's while I'm doing it, you feel me? So what's better than chilling at work on a Saturday, eating some Portillo's, doing the Q&A for y'all? Nothing sound better than that, you feel me? But uh, that's too much talking. So without further ado, man, let's jump straight into it. All right, lemonade, you heard? Fries, ooh. Ooh. That look fantastic. Y'all see that? Hold on. Fantastic. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? You always got to pray before you eat your food. You feel me? But, uh, first question. Oh, mm, I say, what's your favorite type of female? Me, honestly, bro, I like a girl with a good head on her shoulders, you know what I'm saying? That's priceless. Like, if you find a girl with a good head on her shoulders, you win it. That's what I really like. Like, the looks is cool. Don't really care for the looks all like that. But like, the money is cool. Don't really care for that because I get my own money, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you come with your own bag, I come with my own bag. We can come together. We can build an empire, you know what I'm saying? We can be somebody. So all in all, I like a female with a good head on her shoulders, you feel me? And the same vision that I got, just going to the top, getting this money, you feel me? That's it. Question number two, let's say, your favorite sex position. Hmm. Me. Most y'all probably like hitting it from the back. Well, most dudes like hitting it from the back. I like to get on top, you heard? Put that wood right in her. She's going to feel every winch of that wood. Like, I'm telling you, bro. You're going to go crazy, you know what I'm saying? You throw that one leg on your shoulder. Man, look, bro, I ain't gonna say too much on here, you know what I'm saying? Just know. Just know. Question number three. I say, do you prefer being in a relationship or being single? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. And I would say, and all in all, they both got, you know what I'm saying? They both got the good and the bad that come with it. You feel me? But I like being in a relationship. You feel me? I just like doing cute stuff. You feel me? Like, it's just having that feeling. You know what I'm saying? That feeling that somebody got for you and then you got that same feeling for them. Like, it's just fun. You feel me? Like, I just like being happy, bro. You're in a relationship, bro. Like, it's a thousand things you can do. You feel me? Like, just being under somebody, bro, that's that's the best feeling in the world. For real. Question number four. 
How old were you when you lost your virginity? I was 14 years old. Yeah, 14. I was in the... That's ninth grade? Eighth grade? 14, I was in eighth grade? It was eighth grade summertime, so born in ninth grade. I did it in my auntie basement. Question number five. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. I'll be 25 in June. So all the cougars, hit me up. You feel me? I think I'm I'm at that level now. You feel me? I'm 25. I said, where you from? Man, I'm from Minnesota, the land of 10,000 snakes. You heard? Everybody in Minnesota is fake. You feel me? They always trying to get over on you. I don't mess with none of them. You feel me? Don't ask me about nobody you don't see me around. You feel me? I'm just put it like that. As simple as that, you feel me? Why don't you post consistently anymore? That's a real good question. That's a real good question. The reason I don't post consistent no more is because, like, I got a life, bro. You feel me? Nothing I can't do YouTube, but when you a parent and like you have like a regular life to live, things is way more different, bro. Like YouTube ain't like my full time job, so it's not like nothing. I'm not dedicated, but I'm saying like I'm not. Oh, I gotta pick up the camera and record this video, or I gotta do this, or I gotta do that. And I'm the type of person I gotta think of something to do. I'm not just going. Post a video to post a video, like for what? What's the point of that? You feel me? Man, I gotta do something that y'all would want to see, that y'all would actually try to watch, not just pick up the camera and, oh, I'm gonna do this backflip, let me record it. Like, nah, bro, that's pointless. I say, do you have a girlfriend? And if not, why? No, for the people that's asking, I do not have a girlfriend, bro. And why I don't have a girlfriend, it's just simply because, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. All right, now. Ooh, that lemonade here, way different, bruh. But now, to answer y'all question, no, I don't have a girlfriend, and the reason I don't have a girlfriend, bruh, because I feel like I'm the type of person, if I'm with you, I'm with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with you, you know what I mean? Like, whatever you're going through, I'm going through, you feel me? Like, I go too hard for a person when really they don't go... That's hard for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love too hard. So it's like, I try not to, like, get my feelings involved with a person. But if I like you, bro, like, I like you, you feel me? That's it. Like, I like you. And I try not to do that because if I start talking to a female and, like, we texting or something like that and I don't hear from her, you feel me? I'm going to feel some type of way. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I like to hear from you at all times. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. I am a parent. And I do, you know, life get hard. So, like, I ain't going to be on your ass constantly 24-7. But it's going to be like, damn, baby, you got 24 hours in a day. You feel me? You probably work eight of those hours. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up? With the other hours, you can be sleep. Okay, take a nap for a couple hours. You're going to wake up. You can be texting me. But, hey, it is what it is. Where do you see yourself in two years? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, in two years, I see myself being very determined to be my own boss. So I see myself being my own boss, you feel me? CEO of my own, anything I do. 
I see myself being very happy in a relationship with the love of my life, you know what I'm saying? Well, hopefully, but in two years, that shit, she should come my way before then, you feel me? And last but not least, I see myself really just taking over with this YouTube thing, you feel me? Being bigger than what I am. Like, I got a big vision for this YouTube thing. So, in two years, I see myself, like, at the top, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the top of the top, you feel me? And I'm a firm believer in speaking things into existence. So, if I want something, I'm going to go get it, you feel me? So, that's just that. And, like, I ain't stopping until I get that, you feel me? What motivates you? What motivate me, my daughter, you feel me? My mama. My mama, she's still working a job, you feel me? And I'm not going to stop grinding every day to get better and better at what I want to do so that my mama don't have to work no more, you feel me? Like, that's it, you feel me? My daughter, okay, she right here, that's my pride and joy, you feel me? So I wake up every day, I go get it for her. Then I got my mama, she the one who birthed me, you feel me? That's like my best friend. Actually, that is my best friend, you feel me? So mama's still working, and to when mama ain't working no more, I gotta get up and I gotta bust my ass every day, bro. You heard? Say, do you consider yourself a freak? I mean, I do. You feel me? Like I do. I'm. I'm just. You know. Hmm. You have to find out. You feel me? Like you just have to find out. But I consider myself a freak. Let's say, what's the strangest place you had sex? The strangest place I had sex, bruh. I did it in the woods before. That was weird. Like, it was cold outside of shit. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with that. Uh, I did it at the mall in the dressing room before. That was interesting, bruh. Like, that was real interesting, you feel me? It was something different, but I like different. I like to be spontaneous, you know what I'm saying? If we can't be spontaneous... Uh, we ain't gonna work out, you feel me? It ain't even just gotta be on a sexual level, you feel me? Just in life in general, you feel me? Like, be spontaneous. Try new things, you feel me? Next question. What's your favorite hairstyle on a female? My favorite hairstyle on a female, bruh? I like the messy bun, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, bruh. Like, you got the bun on top and... That shit's so sexy, bro. Like, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's different in a way because every girl can't rock it, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody can't rock that hairstyle. So, ladies, if you're out there and you think I'm going to like you because you wear a messy bun, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, be too short about that, you feel me? Let's see. What's your, de what's your definition of love? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. My definition of love, man, is like somebody you can't see yourself without, you feel me? Like, your day won't be good if you don't talk to that person, you feel me? If you don't hear from that person, your day not good. Or if that person give you butterflies, you feel me, every time you're around them or every time you're talking to them, bro, like, that's, that's just love, you feel me? Like, look, bro, I'm telling you, dog, when I give me a shouty, where I give me a lady, should I say? I'm going to treat her right, man. You feel me? I ain't going to be no social media ass boyfriend and do shit for y'all. You feel me? I'm going to make sure I do it for her and let her see that, you know what I'm saying? My love is genuine to her and it ain't just for all this social media bullshit because I ain't never for it. You feel me? But we'll see. Y'all will see maybe, hopefully, one day. I don't know. Let's say last question. Have you ever been in love? Yeah, bruh. I've been in love one time, bro, and let's just say it was a great feeling, bro. Like, it was a great feeling. Don't get me wrong. It was a great experience, but I should take a toll on you, bro. For real. Like, I take a toll on you. So, the next female I do fall in love with, like, I got to be rocking with you. Like, I want to be in love and love. Like, we in love, you feel me? And that's going to be that. Ain't no we finna break up to make up and we run the social media about the problems and we do this. Or I make a video like, oh, man, so-and-so broke up. Then I make another video. Oh, we back together. Nah, I'm not for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point to do that? It's no point to do that. So it's like, 
Let's just be in love. Let's just be happy. Let's build an empire. Let's start a family. Let's live happily ever after. You feel me? I'm trying to buy a house and all that type of stuff. You feel me? But I ain't finna like go back and forth with somebody and be toxic. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. So it is what it is. But uh, that's it for today's video, man. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notification bell so you know when I post. And I'm out.